Hello, and welcome to the Tennessee Virtual College Fair for Transfer Students. Thank you for joining us this evening. We welcome you, and we hope you're excited to learn more about all of the schools that we have joining us tonight. You can ask questions of each of our schools using the Q&A box. It is located on your screen. You can direct a specific question to a specific institution by including their name in your uh, submission, or you can ask a general question for all of our schools to respond to. Our presenters cannot see or hear you because your camera and microphone are off. So the Q&A button is the best way to interact and get more information or follow up. We hope that you'll sign up for more sessions this week. This is just one of many presentations being offered as a part of the Tennessee Virtual College Fair Program for Transfer Students. This session and all of our session are being recorded. They'll be available in about a week's time on the same website where you registered for this event tonight. So thank you everyone for joining us and I'd now like to turn it over to our first school, Lincoln Memorial University. And while they're getting ready, just to note, we're session B1 tonight. Lincoln Memorial, Holly, you are up and ready to go. Hello, my name is Candace Brogan. Oh, I just want to know you're totally fine. Um, I do want to introduce Holly Evans. Uh, she is our student success coordinator for Allied Health, and she is actually going to be watching that chat box for any questions you all may have. So please feel free to go ahead and be asking those questions during my presentation. Um, she will be available to you on that. Then we're going to get started very quickly here because I want to be very cautious of everyone's time. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So here we have, of course, Lincoln Memorial University, and these are all of our locations here listed on the side. Um, our main campus is in Harrogate, Tennessee, and then you do see the other ones as well. Please note that we do mostly undergrad in those locations and not all of our programs are available in those locations. So please feel free to let us know what you are interested in doing and we will definitely help you with that. Moving forward, so this is a list of all of our degrees, of our bachelor's degrees in particular. We also do offer associate's degrees as well, so if anyone's interested in an associate's degree, please let me know. I can assist you in any questions you may have on that. So I wanted to make sure that you were able to get a good list of those programs we do have available. That way you can ask those particular questions. I also want to make sure that you know our professional programs, everything that we do have going on either at our main campus or the other sites that were listed at the front of this slideshow. So some of these will be located in Knoxville and some of them will be in Harrogate. So please feel free to let us know on which ones you're interested in. Um, because we do offer whatever undergrad you need to complete any of these terminal degrees that you see here. Very quickly, want to go over our academic scholarships. So as you can see, you need uh, just a 2.0 to get some kind of merit scholarship from us. And you will see how that lines up as you go through. Also want to let you know about our PTK scholarship. So it is a half tuition scholarship. Um, all I need is a letter stating that you are in good standing with your PTK advisor. That is just whoever is with your institution can send me an email letting me know. I know some institutions have started to actually put that on their transcripts. So if it's not on your transcript, don't worry. All I need is just a contact from your school letting me know and I can go ahead and get that set up for you. If you're not a PTK member, you will see the scholarships that we do offer. And um, this is going to be your academic scholarship. So anything else you pull from FAFSA or anything will stack on top of that. So I wanted to make sure that you were aware of that as well. Um, wanted to leave my contact information here for you to look at, I'm available to you via email. You have my office number, cell number, fax number. 
Um, and then of course, our mailing address for any of those transcripts that you need to send. You can also email those to me as well. Um, wanted to also make sure everybody knows that we are conducting online tours. And those can be either virtual tours or interactive. You can actually set up ones and we can walk you through the campus and interact with you virtually, or we can actually do on-campus tours. We are available to you on campus where you can actually come in, have a consult, speak to an advisor such as Holly. She is with Allied Health, as I said before, um, and various other people that are in those particular programs, advise for those programs on a daily basis. So I can actually sit and talk to you and go over your degree plan. Also wanted to make sure that you knew we are available to you on our website. We actually have a chat feature that is on our undergrad admissions portion. That is something that we are live and available to you Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30. But also, if it's any time outside that, please don't worry. We will get it in an email form and still be able to answer your questions. We want to make sure at this time a lot of people are definitely unsure about a lot of things. And we want to make sure that you know that we are here for you for all of your questions, concerns, and that we are pushing forward and we really hope to have you all as a rail splitter soon. Like I said, please make sure to use that chat box. Um, Holly is watching it very closely. And if you have any questions or think of anything else or just need more information from me, please feel free to shoot me an email and I can give you what information you need. It was a very, very good pleasure to be able to present to y'all tonight and I will send it to the next person. All right, thank you, Candace, for sharing more about Lincoln Memorial. I will, um, our next presentation, our next presenter is going to be Lee University. Um, hi everyone, my name is Jetney Alexis and I'm an admissions counselor from Lee. And so I'll just tell you a bit about our school and if at any point you wanna take a picture, um, a screenshot of these, of these slides, you're more than welcome to. So we are a private Christian school and we are over hundred years old and um, stay on about 120 acres, um, our campus and enrollment is a little over 5,000. Um, we represent 42 states and 50 different countries because we do have a large international population. So um, we do have chapel services that are held twice a week and over 100 student led clubs or an organization. So if um, you end up finding something that um, is not available, you're more than welcome to go ahead and start your own club and everything like that. And all of our students are required to participate in our global perspectives program. So that can look like studying abroad for a semester or um, completing cross-cultural experiences. And you'd also be required to um, fulfill 80 hours of service during the four years that you were here. So pretty much 10 hours every semester. And for those of you who are interested in sports, we are NCAA D2. As far as academics, there are over 57 majors that you can study from in 158 programs. And our top five majors are business, communication arts, behavioral and social sciences, nursing, early childhood and elementary education. Um, but if you are looking for music or exercise science, athletic training and things like that, those are also available. And our student to teacher ratio is a 15 to one. So how do you apply? Um, if you are a senior, I definitely recommend going ahead and taking a picture of this screen um, so you can have that discount code that will waive the application fee for you and make it free. Um, and juniors, you're able to apply at the end of your junior year. So we do want to see three years of coursework, um, but we are rolling admission, so there's no deadline um, as to when you can go ahead and submit that application. And once that app has actually been submitted, we'll need your official ACT or SAT scores, as well as a high school transcript in order for us to make an admissions decision for you. 
housing, there are multiple um, styles that you can choose from. So community and suite styles for our freshmen and sophomores, and then apartments and townhomes on campus for our upperclassmen. And you can start that application after you've applied for admissions. And then there is a $200 housing deposit, but that is completely refundable. We know that students are still making decisions as to where they want to be. And um, so that is refundable for you. As far as tuition, full-time tuition without room and board for the year is $19,540, and that's before any type of aid. Um, as Tennessee residents, you would have the opportunity to um, qualify for the HOPE scholarship um, and a few other things, TSAA and any other grants and everything like that. And then full-time tuition with room and board is $28,570, but that does include our most expensive meal plan and dorm, um, which I did mention were reserved for upperclassmen. So typically, uh, Freshman students are looking at a number around 26, 27,000 before any type of aid. So how do you pay for it all? Um, FAFSA is definitely your best friend, regardless of whatever school you're applying to. That did open up a few weeks ago and um, that will be your application for the HOPE and a few other things like that in order to determine if you can qualify for any loans and grants. So if you haven't done that already, I definitely advise to go ahead and just make sure that you submit that FAFSA. And we do have merit-based scholarships. So starting out at 24, you would qualify for a $5,000 scholarship. And then starting at 28 with our presidential scholarship, that award would be 7,500 a year. And so there's no application for these once we do receive your scores. If you qualify, we'll go ahead and um, award you those scholarships. And with our presidential scholarship, you can also compete for an additional 5,000 with our centennial. And that application um, for the centennial will open up in November and close in February. We also have a few other competitive scholarships that you can look at. Again, those applications will open up in November and close in February and then endowment scholarships. They're just alumni who wanna give back to the school. So there are over 300 of those that you can apply for. And lastly, if you did want to contact us, you um, are more than welcome to take a picture of this screen as well. Um, so we are having in-person visits at this time, but if you're still not comfortable or if things don't work out with your schedule, we offer we also offer virtual campus tours. And so um, it is a bit interactive. You will walk you through campus with a live um, student ambassador that does that tour for you and is available to answer any questions. And you can also meet with an admissions counselor during that time. Um, and another option would be attending one of our preview days. So you would spend the whole day on campus, um, hear from our president, have um, academic department meetings and everything like that, and really get immersed in our culture. So if you do come across any questions, feel free to either email um, what's on your screen or to contact us and we'll be more than glad to have you. Thanks so much. Great. Thank you so much, Jetney Alexis, for sharing more about the university with us. Our next presentation tonight will be Maryville College. Hello, everyone. Getting my slides up. Thank you all so much for taking the time to, to hang out with us and learn about our different colleges. Um, Jetney had great advice um, regarding taking screenshots of anything like contact info or things that you find interesting. So I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, that, was, that was a great tip for sure. So I'm Ashley West representing Maryville College. I'm the Assistant Director of Transfer Admissions um, and Dual Enrollment. And I uh, am happy to, to share with you an overview of Maryville College this evening. At a glance, uh, we're located in Maryville, Tennessee. So that's just right outside of Knoxville, which is the third largest city in the state. Um, only about 45 minutes from the mountains. We're right at the foothills, as you can see in that picture. Um, we are test optional currently. Um, any transfer student who has earned over 24 semester hours, we would never need a test, but definitely um, right now we are test optional for 2021. Application is always free to submit at Maribel College, and we have a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So that's really important when you're thinking about class sizes and the kind of campus community that you are looking for. So just for example, I like to highlight, if you're thinking about um, like a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio, in English 1010, a class that everyone has to take, you're probably going to have about 20 students in that classroom. Um, but as 1,200 students, uh, that's our student body currently, as they spread over the 60 different majors, your junior and senior level classes are 
are small. They're really tight knit. Um, even in our most popular majors, those uh, senior level courses are typically about eight to 10 students each. So um, if you're sitting in lecture and something's not clicking, your professor can see that on your face and has more than enough time to address any questions that you have and make sure that you have that full understanding of the material. These are just a few of our rankings. Um, definitely encourage you to take a screenshot if you would like here. Um, I won't dive too deep into these, uh, but I do wanna highlight that we were named to the transfer honor roll in 2020, that uh, we are just one of four colleges in the state to be named to Phi Theta Kappa's transfer honor roll. Um, so we're really, really proud of that. Um, and we do also have scholarships for Phi Theta Kappa members, which we'll dive into a little bit more later. At Maryville College, um, we want you to do well and be well. And we have this program called Fit Green Happy. So we're really encouraging our students to be active, spend time outside, um, because we know that if you're being fit and you're being green, you're going to be a happier individual. Um, especially in times like this, it is so important to take care of that mind and body. 100% of our students are receiving um, academic scholarships, so that's gonna be based on merit, like your GPA. And um, we also accept Tennessee Hope, and of course we have scholarships ranging from 14,000 to full tuition. And one of those uh, merit-based scholarships is actually the Phi Theta Kappa Award, um, which is the most prestigious transfer scholarship uh, at Maryville College. We also allow our students to stack scholarships on top of those academic awards. So, um, like Fit Green Happy, if that sounds like the coolest thing to you, there's actually scholarship dollars associated with participating in that program. Um, so we would love for you to join and get paid for playing and having fun outside and being active. We don't want financial, uh, we don't want finances to be a barrier at all. So that's why we have such, um, so many different options as far as financial aid goes. And actually um, our students end up paying about $1,500 less than, our, um, than a student at a state school. If you can only remember three things about Maryville College, I want you to think about MVP. We treat you like the MVP at MC. So M is for major. We have over 60 programs of study. So whatever uh, is that career interest or that passion of yours, we for sure have something related to your field. Um, and with 60 majors, we have even more minors available. We encourage our students to really diversify their education. We want you to be super well-rounded and qualified for whatever the dream job is. The V is for value. Like I noted just a moment ago, we are about $1,500 less um, cost per year than some of, our, some of the larger state schools. The P is for purpose. This is my favorite part. When we were founded in 1819, uh, Isaac Anderson told us to do good on the largest possible scale. And we really live that out every day on our campus, which is super fun, whether that's through our service hours or um, plenty of other ways like students who are writing laws and, and changing the world um, just because they want to be a good giving citizen. We are currently offering uh, campus visits in person. They're definitely smaller groups. We ask that you, you limit your guests to one or two people. Um, of course, socially distanced uh, right now, but we also have virtual options uh, and we can do that almost any time of the day. Uh, you can chat with an enrollment counselor via Zoom, text messages, phone calls, um, call up the main line. One of us will be there and happy to chat with you and answer any questions that you have. And in this hybrid environment, we're even allow we're, we're allowing students to sit in on classes virtually. So you don't even have to come to campus to start to forge that relationship with your soon to be professors. I'm Ashley West with Maryville College. Again, thank you so much for spending some time with us. I encourage you to take a screenshot of my contact info and please reach out with any questions that you have. Even if it's not Maryville College related, I would love to be a resource for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ashley, for sharing more about Maryville College. Um, with Ashley's presentation concluding, we have reached our halfway point. So just a quick reminder to our students about that Q&A box. You can direct a question to a specific school that has already presented or has yet to come. You can ask a general question if you're curious about, uh, you know, majors at all of the different institutions or a certain type of program um, to see um, if each of the schools may have that for you that we can't cover in just a six minute presentation. 
So, all right, I'd like to pass it over now to our next presenter. We'll be hearing from Cumberland University. Hey guys, all right, let's see. Let me get this shared real quick. So I wanna introduce myself. I am Nathaniel Farrell and I'm the enrollment specialist here at Cumberland University. Um, I help transfer students um, bridge the gap from their current college over to Cumberland. Um, so I have a little presentation here for you. So this right here is the main building for Cumberland is our main academic building, Memorial Hall. My office is actually right there behind that tree on the left. So if you ever wanna stop by and come see us, that's where we are. Um, we are founded in 1842. So we've had a rich history here in this area. Um, we actually hosted the um, war maneuvers when they got ready to go over to Germany to fight in World War II. So we've had a lot of things that have happened on our campus. Um, we have three main um, schools. They are the School of Humanities, Education, and the Arts, which represents things like education and fine arts. Then we also have Labrie School of Science, Technology, and Business, which represents things like biology, management, and accounting. Then we have the Jeanette C. Rudy School of Nursing and Health Professions, that's nursing and things like sports management. Um, we have a 96.43% NCLEX pass rate. So it's a very successful program in getting you ready for that next step. What our classroom sizes look like is a 16 to one student to TC ratio. Your average class size you're gonna probably see is about 20 students in a class. Um, once you get to your junior and your senior year, it's gonna be much smaller than that. My senior year, I had five students in the class. And so um, we got to meet at Starbucks some days for class and it was really unique to get outside of that classroom. Um, but also to develop a relationship with that professor um, that lasted a lifetime. We represent 2,700 students here on campus um, and they're from all walks of life. We represent 32 states and 42 countries, 28% of which are first-gen college students. We also have 55 plus clubs and organizations on campus to get a part of that really make it that home away from home and give you that true college experience. Um, that is including Greek life. We have five fraternities and three sororities on campus. We also have intramurals. Um, so things from volleyball all the way to ultimate frisbee, something to get involved with on campus. Then Lebanon is where we're located. We're about 25 minutes away from Nashville. Um, we are a small, small town. Um, we give you the opportunity for internships, cl clinical placements and potential career connections anywhere around us and in Nashville. We also have 22 NAIA men's and women's athletic teams. Um, things all the way from football to band and marching band and that sort of stuff. Then we have five residence halls on campus for you to live on campus and get that traditional college experience. Financial aid, um, we were 31% less than the national average of other four-year private schools. Um, and the 93% of our students received grants and scholarships. We also offer performance scholarships for those sports programs and fine arts, fine arts, sorry. We also have a large endowment fund. We gave away $300,000 in private scholarships last year. Um, and those can all be applied at cumberland.edu slash scholarships. It's one application for all of them. The steps to apply at Cumberland are simple. You go to cumberland.edu slash apply now, put in the application, then send us your transcripts and I'll reach out to you about your next steps. General requirements, currently we are not requiring ACT scores. So for transfer students, all you're gonna to need to do is send us that high school or your college transcripts. Sometimes we may need the high school transcript just depending on your situation. This is my contact information. Again, my name is Nathaniel Farrell and I'm an enrollment specialist here. If you'd like to come for a visit or have any other questions for me, please reach out at infarrell at cumberland.edu or give me a call or text at that number. And most importantly, follow us on our social medias, we do a lot of fun stuff, come see us. Hey, thank you so much, Nathaniel, for showing more about Cumberland. Our next school tonight will be Tennessee Wesleyan University. Awesome, good evening, everybody. I'm super excited to be joining you tonight. Let me get my stuff pulled up real quick. Awesome, well, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Todd Cox and I give you greetings on behalf of myself and Courtney Colson. We work with our transfer students here at Tennessee Wesleyan. I'm super excited to tell you a little bit about us tonight, who we are, what we're about, um, and we're hopeful that you're going to come join the Bulldog family with us. So why choose TWU? Um, you're getting 
a lot of information tonight from a lot of great schools. You can't go wrong with any of these schools. Um, a lot of incredible people here that you're going to get to work with. Um, but some unique things here at Tennessee Wesleyan, and we like to kind of put it down into four categories. Uh, knowledge, affordability, community, and exploration is the four big reasons of what makes us special. So you're going to choose knowledge. You're coming to get your degree, and we're here to help you with that. But we know it's a whole lot more than just sitting in class. We're going to give you discussion basis. We have an 11 to 1 faculty to student ratio, so you're going to get the small class sizes, really get to know your professors. You're going to have service learning opportunities. We're going to get you outside of the classroom, and we're going to take you out so you can give back to the world while it gives to you the educational opportunities. And then you're going to have mentors across campus. This includes your faculty advisor, your student success coach, as well as advisors in your clubs and organizations you're a part of, coaches if you're part of athletics, and everyone in between. Our big thing is we want to turn your passions into a career, and we want to send you to change the world. We have over 60 academic programs. These include ones such as our biggest ones, business administration, health and human performance, and nursing. But we also have things such as creative writing, pre-professional if you want to be a dentist, or maybe you want to work as an eye doctor, or even have things, some other popular ones like exercise science and criminal justice. Our average transfer GPA was a 3.12. Um, so really see a lot of success out of our transfer students. And we awarded over 271 degrees in 2019. Um, so like it says there, pour yourself a cup of ambition and follow your dreams. And we're going to help you follow those here at Tennessee Westland. I choose affordability. Um, we know one of the biggest challenges now um, is the cost and the cost that goes with it. Um, we want to make sure, though, that you don't have to choose between getting an education or the money side. Um, our transfers, you are all going to receive an academic scholarship. Um, worth um, anywhere up to $14,000, but it doesn't end there. If you're a member of PTK, we have an additional scholarship we're going to stack on top of that. And then anything you have through your FAFSA, whether that's a HOPE scholarship, a Pell Grant, military benefits, anything like that, we're going to let you use that as well. And then we have resources to help you find outside scholarships. Um, so you can see we had over $12.3 million in student aid awarded. Um, and then the average need-based scholarship was 20,678. So we make this a very affordable option for you. As an alum myself, I can promise you, this was my most affordable school um, and really what helped seal the deal for me to, for me to be a student at Tennessee Westland. You're gonna choose community. Um, we're all about support. So that starts, like I said, with our success coaches, your advisors, we're gonna help you along the way. Then you have your classmates, your teammates, those that are in the clubs with you. And you're gonna meet a lot of interesting and neat people. Um, 26 countries are represented from all six inhabitable continents. I always joke, we're going to get somebody from Antarctica one day. Um, but you're going to get to meet people from all over the world. And then we have 33 states represented. So you're going to get to meet a diverse group of people here from our own home country. So a lot to offer here, a lot to learn. And we love to celebrate that diversity as we're learning too. And then exploration. You're choosing so much more than the college and what you're hearing tonight. You're choosing a journey here that you're going to go on for the next few years. Um, we've been dedicated since 1857 to make sure this is more than just sitting in classes, but that this truly is a journey. Whether that's going to see Stonehenge or Blarney Castle that you can see here on a study abroad opportunity, or it's giving back to the community at the Love Thy Neighbor Project and handing out food to those in need, we're going to make sure we get you outside the classroom. We're going to make sure you have fun doing it, but that you really receive the assistance you need and the help you need um, through these opportunities. So that's a little bit about us, but there's so, so much more to explore, so we don't want it to end here. Um, if you want to come visit campus, we are doing in-person visits of both our Knoxville campus, which is our Allied Health campus, as well as our Athens campus. Um, so feel free to go to our website to register for one of those to get more info or even apply to us. Our application is free. Um, we are test optional. All we will need for you as a transfer is your transcript. Um, if you're interested in our nursing programs, please feel free to reach out to me at tcox at tnwesleyan.edu. Um, or if you're interested in one of our other programs, please feel free to reach out to Ms. Courtney Colson. She oversees our other transfer admissions, and you can reach her at ccolson at tnwesleyan.edu. Again, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, thank you for your interest in college. Um, and please know of all these great schools here, we're all here to help you. Um, and if we can ever get you down to Athens or over here in Knoxville, we'd love to have you. Great, thank you so much, Todd, for sharing more about Tennessee Wesleyan. Our sixth school presenting tonight will be Tennessee Tech University. Hello, everybody. Give me one second, I'm just getting everything queued up and ready to go. 
hope everybody's having a great evening tonight. I also hope everybody's staying safe and staying healthy out there during these trying times that we're in. And I really appreciate everybody listening to me and my colleagues to talk about how we can help maybe further your education and your pursuit of a bachelor's degree. But like Jennifer said, my name is Alex Callis and I'm the transfer specialist at Tennessee Tech. And I just wanted to briefly talk to you guys about what opportunities we may be able to provide to you all in your pursuit of that degree in higher education. Just a little bit of information for those who are not all familiar with Tennessee Tech. We're a four-year public school located in Cookville, Tennessee with about 10,000 students. But two stats that I think are really important for you guys to remember, along with a third of our whole entire student body are transfer students, which means we really get acclimated to know how to make you guys and make your transition to campus a lot more effective and a lot smoother. But the third stat right here, and then the very bottom stat, the third stat is we do average, and this has been a constant stat that we've been able to withhold for the last couple of years, is that we do have the least amount of debt for any public university in the South, which is an incredible achievement. I know you guys, when looking at different higher education universities, you look at a place that's affordable and a look at a place that's going to have an extremely good return on investment. And speaking of that return on investment, that very last stat down there at the bottom is that we do have the start highest starting early career salary potential of any public university in the state of Tennessee with our average graduates currently right now making about $56,000 per year. And that's just in their early salary potential. So that's right after they graduate with a degree from Tennessee Tech. So kind of partnering those two together, not only do we have the least amount of debt in the South, but also the highest outgoing early salary potential. So it really does show you that that return on investment is there to make your time a lot more affordable and worth it when pursuing that bachelor degree option. In regards to some majors and concentrations, there's over 40 plus majors with 100 plus concentrations and it spans the board from agriculture, education, business, nursing, all of your pre-med and pre-professional programs. But if you guys were not aware, engineering is our most popular program by far at the university. Almost a third of our entire student body are engineering students as well. So whether that's mechanical, civil, chemical, electrical, computer, computer science, like cybersecurity, there's just so many facets inside of our College of Engineering. 200 plus clubs and organizations, so that spans the board to have departmental specific clubs like engineering and business specific clubs, but then so many other outdoor activity clubs and organizations, Harry Potter club, Disney club, all those fun things that get involved in and really make your time as a student a lot more enjoyable. And then of course, internships and co-op opportunities where you guys can make tons of relationships, hopefully for with future employers to gain some invaluable experience and also make a whole lot of money that pay for your living fees and a great money while you're doing your sophomore junior year, even senior year to then come back to the university and graduate with that degree in one of those fields. This next slide right here, it's our second to last slide, but I really just wanted to talk to you guys briefly. These are the steps and it's on our website. It's tntech.edu slash transfer, but essentially these are the seven steps to being a student at Tennessee Tech and a transfer student. And they're all in order too. So you can basically go down the list, check one off when you've done it and move on to the next step. Of course, it always starts with applying to the university and you can see our guaranteed admissions requirements there, but 2.0 overall and a 2.0 in your last semester. After that, you need to turn in your required materials, which are an application fee and then essentially every college transcript from any college you've attended since graduating high school. The next step after that's to apply for financial aid and scholarships. One of the great things Tennessee Tech has is we don't only offer scholarships for students entering in the fall. We have scholarships for students who start both in the spring and in the fall. And those aren't, aren't just, you know, admissions-based scholarships. There's departmental scholarships based off what you're majoring, financial aid-based scholarships. We have our own version of the Tennessee Promise called the Tech Promise as well. So there's just so many scholarship and financial financial aid opportunities to make your time at Tennessee Tech as affordable as possible. After that, once you're admitted, you basically set up a lot of accounts like your student email account and your personal Tech Express account, which helps log you into everything on campus. Then you get advised and register for courses complete your orientation. And then after that, you're a golden eagle. I know that looks like a lot of stuff right there, but I promise it goes by extremely quickly. And then last but not least, we have these things called equivalency tables and they're built out with every one of our partner community college universities. And they're on our website as well. We also have these with four-year universities that we're able to do that with from previous students who've transferred to Tennessee Tech. But essentially what these are is it's every class offered at a community college or local college or university and exactly how they transfer to Tennessee Tech. So 
there's no guessing game. I mean, you guys will know exactly how your credits transfer over to Tech before even applying and taking part in the application process. And as the husband of a former transfer student, my wife transferred to Tennessee Tech from an in-state community college. I know that cost is an extremely important thing, which is what we try to focus on a lot on being an affordable university. And then, of course, credits is an extremely important thing, which we try to do as well. And then convenience, too. We're still doing on-campus classes right now, but we've offered so many more online options. So really, we understand that cost, credits, and convenience are three big things that you guys care about. And we want to make those as accessible for you guys as possible to make sure your transition to pursue that bachelor degree is easy. Because we know how confusing, and especially with a global pandemic, how confusing the whole process can be. And then last but not least, guys, this is my contact information. So like some of my former colleagues said, if you wanted to screenshot this, please do. I'm always happy to help. Again, my name is Alex Callis with Tennessee Tech University, and that's my phone number and email address. The website right there, tntech.edu slash transfer, has every single one of the steps that we've gone over so far, along with those credits, a link to our application. Everything is found on that website right there. And if you guys ever wanted to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me, even though we are doing in-person on-campus visits virtually, and then also in person, like I stated, you guys can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one where we can do something in a Zoom format or a, phone, or a phone call or anything else like that. And I'm always happy to help. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with everybody today and tonight. And I'll go ahead and turn it back over to our moderator. Great. Thanks, Alex. Really appreciate sharing more about Tennessee Tech. All right. If I could ask all of our presenters to join our group back with um, turning cameras on and microphones on. And this is just a last chance right now for our attendees to think of any last questions or follow up that they would like to check on so you can drop those in the Q&A. And while we're giving everyone a minute to think, um, I would like to have all of our presenters um, share um, just another aspect of the student experience. So a favorite event, tradition, opportunity, um, something that's just really unique and um, something that the transfer students could really look forward to having as a part of their experience in or out of the classroom at your school. And we'll start with Lincoln Memorial. We'll go in the same order that everyone presented. And as one, as the person in front of you finishes, just feel free to turn off your mic and start your answer. And we'll just go all the way around. So thank you. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. I have to say one of my favorite, which we have several, but one of my favorite events, especially for transfer students, is our welcome weekend. Um, I have been blown away by our student services staff, especially with COVID and everything that we've had to try to make sure everybody was safe and social distanced and everything. I thought, oh my gosh, there's no way this is going to work. This is going to be the same that we've had every year. And this year they just knocked it out of the park. It was fantastic. It's one of those events that's a whole weekend of you coming together and meeting your soon to be best friends for life. These people that's going to be with you for the next year, few years and work with you in groups and projects and everything. And you get to have all these different games and building those relationships, those ties, having that teamwork already started. It's so super cool because we also have uh, current students that have already been there for a couple of years walking you through your schedule so you never have like that deer in headlight look like I don't know which building to go to I'm so confused having all of that in one weekend um, even helping you move in if you're actually going to stay on campus if you're not going to stay on campus you're still invited to go to that um, we are a division two school so we have plenty of athletic games to go to and be a part of and we're really proud of that um, being a role splitter super excited uh, about that and enjoying that camaraderie as well so just I have to say welcome weekend and all of our sporting events is something that is just has to be experienced it's totally awesome for me I would say um, an event that we have on campus um, is our dorm wars and it's energy like no other so just picture the whole school coming together and all the dorms against one another trying to raise money for charity and so um, we have had a few that you know have won every year and they've you know kept the champion title and everything like that um, but it is definitely fun to watch you know students with in shopping cart races and everything like that and even at one point in the night we do have staff and faculty that are involved 
Um, so we'll blindfold them and spin them around multiple times in circles and then have them go through this course. So just, you know, seeing professors outside of the classroom, um, interacting with students in that way and just letting their hair down um, and enjoy campus. So I think it's one of my, you know, favorite times on campus for everyone to just come together and um, just enjoy the night. That sounds super fun. <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> um, this is one of my most favorite questions. Uh, one of my favorite traditions at Maryville College, it's not exclusive to transfer students, anyone can participate, but it's what we call finals breakfast. And so for finals breakfast, our dining hall is delicious. Uh, so good will work for meal passes. Um, we, the faculty and staff actually serve the meals. So of course our, our culinary geniuses still prepare the food, um, but we keep the dining hall open. Um, we open early and we keep it open extra late and it's always breakfast for dinner. And we stay open until midnight. So as you're studying for finals and you know just need that little bit of fuel to get you through the night or to put you to bed, um, we, we serve that. And so that is really, really fun, um, especially as an admissions counselor, being able to hand you your French toast sticks and wish you luck, um, knowing how hard you work to get there. Uh, that is my very most favorite MC tradition. Yeah, so I think my favorite thing, um, a college in Cumberland in general, is, is all about that, com that uh, college experience. For me, during finals week, we have a ton of events that we do. Um, things from like laser tag all the way to pancake night, where you'll get pancakes and raffles in the cafeteria. But my favorite and absolutely the best thing that ever happened was goat yoga. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of goat yoga before. Um, I grew up on a farm and I had goats, but I'd never thought about doing yoga and goats, but it was a unique experience and it was something really to experience. Um, and if you weren't into yoga, they had a cuddle session as well. So even if that was just your vibe. So um, yeah, and that's something we do every year. So. Man, I grew up in Lebanon. I might have to go back to Cumberland for some goat yoga now. Sounds pretty intense. Um, Tennessee Wesleyan, one of ours is homecoming. This is my favorite thing ever. This is for anybody at Tennessee Wesleyan. Um, it's not just a weekend. We start off Monday through Friday where we do the homecoming kind of Olympics competition and it's for all of our student orgs. Um, it's everything. We got you making banners. We got you doing Oreo eating contests. We got you stacking cans, as creative as possible. Um, you just compete with a team. And when they start releasing results every day, I mean, it's like knocking people down to get to that piece of paper and figure out who's winning homecoming right now. I mean, when I was in the fraternity, we might have knocked a few people down to get there. We just had to know if we were in first place. Um, but we cap it off with the Super Bowl of homecoming, as we call it. I think it's better than the Super Bowl. It's lip sync. Um, this is where you get up, you just do the lip sync, you act a fool, you have fun, and you see who can win. Um, I may or may not have been Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz once. It was okay, we won, so it was worth it. Um, but we just have a blast at homecoming. Saturday and Sunday, then we get all the alumni in there. You get to meet alumni, so not only is it a blast, that's the perfect time to make connections. And that's what we really kind of push there. We want you to make those connections during homecoming with people in your field. If you're a business major, a nursing major, um, you're a sports exercise science major, we get you to meet those alumni. So we make sure you're making those connections, hook you up with an internship, hopefully get you a job after graduation. But really, we want you to remember that being a part of a college family is so much more than just that experience on campus. It's all the people before you and all the people after that. And so we like to mix fun um, and some exposure with those alumni all in our homecoming week. But we have a blast doing it. It's probably the thing I miss the most as a student. That's great. Everybody's had great answers so far. I guess, I don't know if this is more of a, I guess it's more of like a tradition story more so than anything else. Um, if you guys didn't know, we're the Golden Eagles at Tennessee Tech and on top of Dairyberry, which is our largest and first building on campus founded in like 1906, there is a humongous Golden Eagle statue that's on top of that clock tower. And it's real. I mean, it's metal and I mean, it's, it's ginormous. It's only come down one time since the 1950s. And that was in 2014 when they actually made a cast mold of it to give back to the original person because the story is in the 50s a group of guys in the middle of the night from a fraternity stole it from a business a couple cities away about two hours away almost and low actually little to their knowledge is that the president here at the time was actually working on a deal to buy it from that said organization 
Um, but they didn't know that. And so they stole it during the middle of the night. They unveiled it at a pep rally the next day, right before a homecoming game. And the president was like, oh no, the guy is never going to believe that I didn't send these guys in the middle of the night to go steal this giant golden eagle statue. And so they tried to fill out like a, like a lawsuit and everything else. And it kept getting pushed back and they never won. So we always got to keep the golden eagle. Uh, but then in 2014, when I actually first started working here after I graduated, we made, we brought it down for the first time since like 53 and we made a cast mold of it and gave it back to the original company, the original business. We kept the original, but they got the cast mold of it. So, um, but it's just cool. I mean, that's something we tell to all of our VIPs. If you guys were ever to come for a tour of campus, you know, you'd walk by Dairy Berry, which is the original building. It's where our president's office is at now. And it's just something really cool. And it's a tradition that uh, has been on campus, of course, for a very long time, decades now. And it's hard to miss it if you're ever on campus and you don't know where you're at. You can look for the tallest building on campus with a huge um, clock tower on top and it's got a golden eagle on top of the clock tower. So um, I know that's a little less of kind of like what people love to do on campus, but I thought I would change it and do something a little bit different. So oh, I love it. I want to come visit all the events. I want to see this golden eagle. Um, I hope that all of our attendees and those watching later have also enjoyed, enjoyed just a little bit more insight into the experiences, the stories, the spirit that you can find um, at each of these great institutions. And I've enjoyed learning more about them today. Um, I'd like to first of all thank all of our presenters. Thank you for sharing not just the facts and figures, but your passion for the schools you represent and also for helping transfer students navigate this process. Thank you to everyone who's watched tonight. We uh, appreciate you spending part of your evening or day with us if you're watching the recording. We have now reached the end of our time together. So when you close your window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted by the Tennessee Virtual College Fair Program for Transfer Students. We hope that you'll sign up for additional sessions and join us this week. In about a week's time, you'll be able to find this session's recordings as well as all of the other session recordings online at the same site where you registered. Thank you again, everyone, and have a good night.